Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fatimah Rana Binti Zaid and my student ID is 2022996731. I am from N4CS 2.93B1. In this video, I will be presenting about the assessment tool for calculus 3, which is lab assignment. So, let's go through. For section A, I choose question A and B. So first, let me explain for the question A. For question A, the question asks us to plot the equation Z equal to X square plus Y square. So let me show you how to plot it into the maple software. Firstly, choose file then select new. Then, use the worksheet mode. Start the command with restart. To start a new command, we have to click the enter key on your keyboard. And do remind to put semicolon at the end of command. After that, I will put the equation z equal to x square plus y square. To plot the surface, I am using MPG plot 3 d Then, we insert z equal to f to call the equation input before this. So, the arrangement will be like this. MPG plot 3 d z equal to f, then the limit. For this question, I will show you two range of limit in order to define whether we get the same surface or both different surface. The first range of limit I use is x equal to negative 2 until 2, y equal to negative 2 until 2, and z equal to 0 until 1. Press enter key and the surface that we get is paraboloid. You even can rotate the graph to see all part of surface. Next, I try for another range of limit which is x equal to negative 5 to 5, y equal to negative 5 to 5, and z equal to 0 to 5 using the same plotting option which is implicit plot 3D. Hence, we still get the same output like the first limit but the difference is the size of the surface is much bigger than the first range of limit. Now, let's go to the question B. The question wanted us to plot the equation x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4. The first step is same like question A, write this comment as starter. Next, for this question, I am still using implicit plot 3D as the plotting option. Then, put the given equation into the comment. After that, enter the limit that you want. Like for this question, I choose the limit x equal to negative 4 until 4, then y equal to negative 4 until 4, and z equal to negative 4 until 4. Don't forget to put semicolon. Then, click enter. As you can see here, the surface is a sphere. I did again with implicit plot 3D and second range of limit, which is x equal to negative 2 until 2, y equal to negative 2 until 2, and z equal to negative 2 until 4. Then click enter. As you can see here, now the shape is ellipsoid. You know why? It is because since the value of a is equal to b is 2, and c equal to 4, and based on the standard equation of an ellipsoid, which x square over a square plus y square over b square plus z square over c square equal to 1. So that's all for section A. Without wasting our time, let's go to section B. In this section, I choose question 1 and question 4. Question 1, we have to plot the solid that lies between the cone. Z equal to Zx square plus y square and the plane is Z equal to 4. Before we proceeding into maple, we have to understand the question, then determine the value first. So, we need to convert rectangular coordinates into spherical coordinates, as shown in this slide. Denote that x equal to rho sin p cos pi, y equal to rho sin p sin theta, and z equal to rho cos p. Hence, we will get p equal to pi over 4. Next, we are given plane z equal to 4. And before this, we also get z equal to rho cos p. By substituting the value, we will get rho equal to 4 second pi over 4. Take note that rho is the distance between the point and origin, while theta is the longitude angle and p as position vector angle of points that make positive z exist. So now, since we already got all the data needed, so we can proceed with common in maple. Firstly, we need to insert all the input from the question. We write fx equal to z x square plus y square. Next, we insert the value of plane, which is z equal to 4. To plot the solid, we need to click insert. Choose plot, then choose the option 3 dimension. Then, it will appear an empty box with x's here. Next, you have to copy the equation from the input and paste it into that empty box. And it will be shown like this. Next, we have to plot the cone equation. So, the command, I name it as cones. And the plotting option I use is plot 3D. Then, in bracket, rho, theta, pi over 4, which represent x, y, z in spherical coordinates. After that, we insert the limit along with codes equal to spherical. The limit used is rho equal to 0 until 4 second pi over 4 and theta equal to negative pi until pi. Clicking the enter and the cone will show up. Z equal to set x square plus y square. After that, we will proceeding for plane part. Z equal to 4. Write the command by name is as plane. Colon equal to plot 3D bracket 4 second p theta p. Where the limit used is theta equal to negative pi until pi. P equal to 0 until pi over 4. Then, codes equal to spherical. Put semicolon and enter. Hence, the plane will look like this. The last step is we have to display the combination of cones and plane. So, we have to insert the common by recall back cones and plane where plots, bracket, display, close bracket, bracket, open bracket, cones, plane, close bracket, viewpoint, equal to circle left. Put semicolon and click enter. At the end, we will get to see the solid that resulted of a combination of cones and planes. 
Last but not least, let's do for question 4. The question asks us to plot the solid bonded by the hemisphere Z equal to Z16 minus X square minus Y square and the parabola Z equal to N square plus Y square. The steps are similar with question 1. Starting, we collected all the information from the question. Then, we have to convert the rectangular coordinates into spherical coordinates from Z equal to Z16 minus X square minus Y square. Then, we can get X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to 16 for rectangular coordinates. To find the spherical coordinates, we can use the formula rho equal to Z X square plus y square plus z square. Then, substitute x square plus y square plus z square equal to 16 into the formula and we will get the answer is rho equal to 4. Next step is, we know that spherical parabolic formula is rho equal to cos p cosecant square p. Then, by the answer for rho that we got before, we can substitute it into the parabolic formula. Therefore, we will get 4 equal to cos p cosecant square p. So now, let's proceed with common in maple. Firstly, we have to insert the common for p, like this. Click enter so that the maple software will calculate the input. After that, we need to write a comment for paraboloid. Name it as paraboloid. Then, double colon, equal to plot 3D, cos p, cosecant pi, square, theta, p, where the limit is theta equal to negative pi until pi, p equal to the value of p until pi over 2, along with coords equal to spherical. Put the semicolon and click enter. Thus, we will get the output which is paraboloid. Following this, we have to plot the hemisphere equation. Name it as hemisphere, then double colon, equal to plot 3D, square, bracket, 4, theta, p, cross square bracket, then put the limit, where theta equal to negative pi until pi, p equal to 0 until the value of p, follows coords equal to spherical. Put semicolon and click enter. Therefore, the shape looks like this. Last but not least, we will gain the combination of paraboloid and hemisphere in one output. By inserting the common display bracket, we recall back paraboloid and hemisphere, followed with scaling equal to constraint. Don't miss semicolon and click enter. Interestingly, this is how the solid bonded looks like after the combination of parabolic z equal to x square plus y square and hemisphere z equal to z 16 minus x square minus y square. End of section B. That's all from me. Thank you. Bye.